International Solar Energy Society Scientific Committee Co-Chair Professor Dieter Holm built a water and energy autonomous house in the Heart of Beersport Dam area near Johannesburg in 1974. He talks to us about the benefits of living in an energy efficient home. If you want to live that way, it doesn't mean you, you have to live a Spartan life. This house has all the mud cons in it. The quality of life is, uh, in fact, it's much superior because you can both um, enjoy nature uh, and have, have comfort, indoor comfort, uh, without the need for artificial heating or cooling. Holmes House has a number of simple design elements that help to increase efficiency. The house is orientated towards the north, major windows in the house also face north, and it has what Holm calls proper insulation in the roof. He says that comfort drives most of the energy needs in the home and that the construction sector can assist in improving efficiency in South African buildings. The building sector can make a major contribution to alleviate our, our current problem, at, if you don't want to call it crisis. And uh, the, the one uh, way of dealing with this is, is stop thinking in supply terms only, but thinking in demand as well. And uh, there we have much to do. And demand means look at buildings not only as passive and inefficient uh, users of energy, but think of them in terms of distributed generators of uh, electricity in this case, which we're talking about ESCOM, and cogeneration, meaning that we uh, provide heat and electricity at the same time. As buildings are such long-term investments, they'll outlast, outlast the life of uh, their builders and certainly outlast the, the time of uh, the lifetime of power stations for a factor of at least four.